anything like this going year in and year out while members of the CRC uh, graduate and all new people throw it every year. Um, but that also means that it's the only uh, marijuana festival that's now old enough to drink. And that's weird. The other end of North Pleasant Street looks like an armed encampment right now. Uh, there's uh, two police forces masked with every kind of weaponry you could possibly imagine. And uh, I guess uh, uh, what bothers me is that the newspapers keep conflating the extravaganza with this and saying, we need massive police presence because of the Hobart hoedown and the extravaganza. And they tell us that a drunken crowd is a scary crowd. So I wanted you to all look around at each other right now and tell me, are you scared? <laughs> 2.5 million people die every year of alcohol. Absolutely no one dies of marijuana. <laughs> Muddy Waters had a little song that opened up like this. It went, give me champagne when I'm thirsty. But give me marijuana when I want to want to get high. So Muddy knew that one of them was just to quench your thirst, but the other one was to ease your pain and soothe your worried mind. So I'm glad to be on this end of the street today. I think this is the right end of the street to be on. And I want to know that the, uh, th this uh, festival will go on until it's uh, reached old age, never mind drinking age, because this is a great expression. This is a party with a purpose. It's not just a party. The purpose is peace, peace in a nation that's always at war, peace in the war on drugs. Its object is justice. Two million Americans in prison. Do they have to be there? Many of them do not. Nonviolent drug offenders should not be in prison. So this is a party with a purpose, and I want to tell you, uh, keep on partying and keep that purpose clear in your mind, because this is a conscious, conscious party. So keep it up.